When it comes to drive and focus, there are few litigators who can match Nicole Goodwin. She has practiced law in New York, clerked for a federal judge, made partner at the Arizona firm of Quarles and Brady, and is now one of the youngest shareholders at Greenberg Traurig. As important as my profession is to me, it's not all of who I am. I'm a parent of a 12-year-old mischievous boy named James who was diagnosed with autism at three and a half. After James was diagnosed, I immediately thought, well, what can I do to help? I need to do something. I need to get busy <laughs> in this field. I was introduced to the Southwest Autism Research and Resource Center, and I started off in a fundraising capacity, and now I'm vice chair of the board of directors. For me, knowing that I can devote energy and time and, and what I can to help other parents helps me. You're a litigator. I am. So what do you love about litigation? I love being there and knowing that it's a matter of being the best possible representative you can be for your client. They're relying on you to be their voice and be their, their agent and their representative, and that's a lot of responsibility. You uh, are also an adjunct professor at uh, the ASU Law School. I've been doing it for the past six years. I created a class um, called Persuasive Speech where I co-teach with a theater professor. And we teach law students the principles of persuasive and effective communication using principles from the theater. I love to see law students um, find themselves and find their best selves. And um, I hope my class helps them in that process. You also run a summer program here at your firm. Making sure that this firm is here for that next generation and the generation after that is very important to me. And the way that we do that is by investing time in our associates and giving them the training and the mentorship that they need so they enjoy what they do, they're good at what they do, and they, you know, they can best represent the firm. I've had many mentors, both men and women. I'm, I can't imagine accomplishing you know, anything in this field without having people who look out for you. So I've just tried to pay that back and pay it forward. To me, it means knowing that you're not alone, even on days that might be stressful or where you might feel a little overwhelmed, knowing that there's somebody who's been down that path before you who you can lean on and ask for support and ask for guidance. I do my best to give back to this community that I feel privileged to live in. I do a lot of things that I don't get compensated for, but they are the most enriching things that I do.